So now, uh, thank you very much. I will welcome Dr. Carolyn to give us the last presentation of this webinar about platelet-rich plasma. Thank you so much. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Can you guys hear me and see my screen? Yes, we can hear you and see the screen. Yay! Okay, so. I the dog, I'm sorry? I cannot hear the dog. It's not oh, good. That's a plus. She's being quiet at the moment. All right. So I love to close the show. Here we go. PRP procedures, why they're still around. Let's see. Let's see. Will it progress? Okay. So <clears throat> PRP can have single spin. It can have double spin procedures. What we're doing is drawing blood just like a doing a blood test from the arm spinning it down concentrating the growth factors and the way i describe it to my patients is if you scrape your knee fluid comes out scab forms scab falls off that yellow goo is prp so i explained to them that that's the portion of our blood that allows us to heal ourselves and create new tissue and we know that it contains amazing growth factors. We have epidermal growth factors. We have basic fibroglass growth factors. We have the ability to call our stem cells, activate them to create the tissue needed in that location of injury. And it stimulates our pluripotent stem cells very critical, proliferates fibroblasts, which then will allow our bodies to create new collagen and new angiogenesis. There's neurogenesis and adipocyte enlargement and multiplicity. So it's safe because it's autologous. We have thousands of articles. We're up to 11,850 articles just on PRP and its uh, effects and there have been zero complications. Now, I would like to introduce Charles Runnels who was wise enough to decide to inject his own genitalia with PRP and found that it worked in improving erectile function and then developed the O-shot, which is for women injected directly into the clitoris and the G-spot area. And with that, he had been able to uh, trademark or patent these procedures, not PRP, because that's not, but in his way of using the PRP, he trademarked it. That made it of value and it he made it a simple reproducible fashion of doing these procedures the takeaway message is whenever we can do something like this it's wise because it maintained the value of the procedure patients know what the o shot is and they specifically ask for it so in doing so, he was able to uh, specialize and give it notoriety worldwide. And PRP can be used in many, many ways. It can be used for scarring and we put it on top of hyaluronic acid and you see wonderful benefits. It can be used for uh, alopecia and you see amazing benefits for hair and there are multiple studies in that regard. And of course, for us, we wanna talk about how it's used for uh, Euro gynecology. And what we know is that there are 20 medications on the market for men. There are two on the market for women in the United States. One is phlebanserine. I have never ever prescribed it because it has dangers of causing severe hypotension and even death when combined with alcohol. So in 
the United States, women do uh, enjoy a glass of wine when they go out socially, and it scares me. So I've never prescribed it. So what can we do for women? And we have to understand that sex is not all a mental thing, that's only part of it, and that we involve all of our systems. The PRP is placed in the O-shot directly into the G-spot zone, as we know. And what we have to remember is that it's not magic, it can help heal, but it's not a 100% effect, and yet it can help. It's non-invasive, so to speak, minimally invasive, and patients are very happy with the results. We pretty much get an 80 to 90% improvement in um, sexual function. So the clitoris, again, is much more hidden. There's not just the little... Uh, tip of the clitoris that we see, it does extend into the corpus cavernosus, just as analogous to the male, yet we have um, twice as many nerve endings in uh, the tip. And the mean score when the pilot study was done on the O-shot dropped by 10 points, very significant change. Yet in patient number three, we like to point out that it went up and that was when asked she, that it was because she had benefits, but her husband could not keep up, pun intended. So there Female sexual uh, function index also showed improvement by five points. Again, significant. The secondary benefits are, of course, with urinary stress incontinence. We are also seeing uh, improvement with interstitial cystitis. And of course, we are using PRP extensively for lichen sclerosis, uh, also for postpartum rectal incontinence, uh, mesh pain is also improved. You can combine it with laser, the laser enhanced O-shot um, or Thermi O as developed by uh, Dr. Red. And PRP is also used in men and injected into the corpus cavernosus and directly into the glands. And it can also be placed into the fibrous tissue of Pyronis. This is the questionnaire used for men, and we see an increase of five to seven on the ED intensity score. And that is, again, significant. So it's promoting regeneration of the cavernous nerve as well as in women nerve to the clitoris. Presumed we don't have biopsies of that because no one's willing to say cut off my clitoris and see what's happened. So unfortunately, even in men, we have it in rat models, but there have been uh, studies showing improvement in uh, cavernous nerve and in corpus cavernosus tissue. So in cosmetic work, it's used to restore symmetry. We view beauty as symmetry and uh, the blue men are beautiful, uh, whereas the, um, the elephant man was horrifying because of his asymmetry, once again. So a simple before and after of use of PRP in the face layered on top of uh, hyaluronic acid shows benefits. And this is a gentleman as well. This is one week later, post PRP and filler. And you can use it in breasts to create a rounder cleavage correct irregularities, improve nipple sensation, post-surgical procedures, and uh, makes a difference. Our concerns, of course, is can it be neoplastic? Can it increase the risk of uh, cancer? And we know from women who have had fat augmentation of, uh, with PRP, there were no increased risks, and there are several studies showing 
survival of the fat and use of PRP along with it. So you can use PRP alone. I no longer even use filler. I use pure PRP because some of the fillers uh, in the United States have caused granulation in breast tissue as well as in the labia. So I'm using pure PRP and having fabulous results. This particular patient, eight weeks later, that was not mine, that was Dr. Ronald's patients, but this is my patient. And this is uh, improved cleavage. She did not like the artificial look with her uh, breast implants. This patient is, um, I know the color is off and lighting is big difference when it comes to cosmetic photography. However, what I want to note here is you can